What's up, Spice Droppers? It's Charlie from Ferndale. And here you go. Jump, jump, jump. Lions are still in it, baby. Let's make some Super Bowl food. First thing we want to do is take these mushrooms. I got 12 mushroom caps here. We're just going to take these stems and pop them out. Save these. You could take some time and kind of whittle this out with a spoon, but we don't really need to do that. So I'm just going to do that to all 12 of these and then let you know what to do next. Again, these are washed. I pre-washed them. You can use a paper towel to wash them. You can rinse them. Do whatever you want to wash them. You obviously want to use some of the bigger caps that you have so that you can stuff more in there. Now I'm going to take these stems and give them a chop. Just go over them a few times. They don't need to be a super fine chop because we're going to cook them down anyway, but you want to have them decently small enough so that they don't overtake the entire stuffing. Now we're going to take a frying pan and preheat this on the stove. Alright, so now I'm going to take these mushroom stems and just throw them in this pan. We want to get some of the moisture out of there so we don't have any oil or anything in there. We're just going to let them sweat for probably about three to five minutes and then move on to the next step. Keep moving them around so they don't stick, but you'll see some steam coming up and that's exactly what we want. All right, it's been about four minutes, so I got a bowl here with some paper towel in there, and I'm gonna transfer these to that. You don't need the paper towel for this part, but other stuff we're gonna put in there, we'll need that. So I'm just setting up for success. Now that we got the pan emptied out, I'm throwing six pieces of bacon in here, and we need these crispy. So we're gonna cook them about three minutes a side, six minutes total, maybe a little more. Now we're gonna take this plate and put more paper towel on it. So that bacon's been in there about six, seven minutes total, getting nice and crispy. I'm gonna turn off the heat and take it out. Put it on this plate here with the paper towel. So now we got this paper towel we can fold over and take that grease off of there which will make this even crispier. Set this bacon aside for now. We got all this bacon grease in here now so I'm gonna take some of that out. Wipe that. Now this gets hot when there's stuff in there so grab it carefully and set that aside until it cools down. Now we're gonna turn this heat back on. About a medium heat. I have two cloves of garlic, finely chopped. About 30 seconds to a minute, that gets aromatic. We're gonna throw in a quarter of an onion, finely chopped. Let that cook for a few minutes. Get this bowl with these stems in here ready because we're gonna dump this stuff into there. After a couple minutes, this will start to brown. We don't really need it completely translucitized. Uh, we just wanted to brown these a little. So we can take that off heat, toss those into this bowl. And you want to get all these good bits off the bottom because that's where all that flavor is with that bacon grease. Now we're going to let this cool down, let the bacon cool down so that it doesn't melt the cheese when we start mixing everything. But in the meantime, you can preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, so it's about 15 degrees outside, so I just set this bowl out there for about five minutes and it is cooled down, so I'm going to take... Remember this is the onions, garlic, and those stems we sauteed. Put that in that bowl there. He goes getting a drink, don't mind him. I got six ounces of cream cheese. And I have a half cup of shredded Parmesan. I got about a handful of Italian parsley that I chopped finely. I have one can of pink crab meat. Now we're gonna take our bacon, chop that. Once that's nice and chopped, we can take, I'm gonna keep some of these bigger chunks out. We're gonna put that on top, but we're gonna take about half this bacon and put it into the bowl. I got some oregano, measure that one with your heart. I got some paprika, just for some color. And I'm going in with two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Salt and pepper. There's some pep and just a little bit of salt. We do have that bacon in there that has salt in it too, so. Now honestly, you could use a spoon to mix this all up, but I buy these gloves for a reason. So I'm gonna have some fun. Time to build these bad boys. I got my tray here, just give that a quick spray with some cooking spray. Probably not even necessary. We're gonna space these out evenly, if I can count correctly, which I can't. Now I got my nice gunk here, and I have this old tablespoon that I think I got this set in college. Chintzy old plastic set, but it's a nice little circle. So I'm just gonna take those and stuff them in. You wanna try to get it to push down in there. 
and then have it kind of overflow out over the top like that. So, you know, pushing it down in there, and then I give it a base to put that stuff on top. Make sure your hands are clean when you do this too. I know I just used gloves for the last step, but I did also wash my hands after I did that. So yeah, just fill these up and we can put them in the oven. Mushrooms are fully stuffed. I'm just gonna go in and top these with some bacon. And it's nice because you can press that bacon in there. They've all been topped with bacon. We're gonna throw this in that 400 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, it has been 17 minutes. Let's pull these out of the oven. They look amazing. They smell so delicious. I'm gonna let these sit for a couple minutes and then we'll plate them up and try these bad boys. And real quick for plating, I got them all out here. And I have some uh, Alfredo sauce here that I'm just gonna drizzle over the top. But just take a look at these and how good does that look for a Super Bowl appetizer? That plate could win a couple playoff games by itself. All right, Spice Droppers, it's been real, it's been fun, and it's been pretty easy to make a dish that looks this good. Go Lions. Mm. I mean, I've had crab stuffed mushrooms, I've had bacon stuffed mushrooms. But put them together, this is phenomenal. That Alfredo on there too. Woo! Peace and love, Spice Droppers. I love you. Woo! Boom!